All right, so I did a live video a little while ago uh, talking about, you know, some knives that I bought on my vacation. And I, you know, showed a glimpse of some knives that I was going to be making videos on. I'm actually doing this the same day. I'm not sure when I'm going to put this up. Um, but this is the Rosecraft Blades knife that I mentioned. Um, and I'm assuming it's already in the title of this video, so I'm not going to keep you in suspense anymore. But if you guys know me, you may have guessed that I got the Barlow from Rose Rosecraft Blades, and you would be correct in thinking that. Um, so this is the Barlow that they made. It's got a little, this isn't, unfortunately it's not stamped into the bolster or even like lasered in. It's kind of more of like an etch. So I don't know how well that'll hold up, but it does look really cool. Just say. I do wish they would have stamped it in there or at least, you know, laser, laser done it so that it would stay there longer. Or like, uh, you, you know, you guys know what I mean, like engraved it with a laser. Whereas this is just, you know, some sort of etch or something. The knife overall looks really good, though. I really like the uh, orangish red they did for the bone. It's just a smooth bone. I would have liked to see a saw cut or a jig or a jigged bone. That'd have been cool too. Uh, and then, of course, the blade here is a sheep's foot blade, pretty much. I do think it's got a slight sweep up on the blade, which I'm going to assume is intentional and not accidental. So it's almost more. It's like a modified sheep's foot is what I'm going to call it because uh, I'm going to be one of those knife people. Everything's a modified anything, um, but this is a sheep's foot with a little bit of a curve in the blade, which is interesting. Um, and like I said, I'm going to assume that that is intentional, but I'm not sure. Um, blade is, you know, pretty high polished, but, you know, also still has like the machining lines in it. Um, I do prefer a satin blade, but you know, it'll, it'll, it'll wear, it's luster will wear off over time. Um, here you can see the, I'll call it a tang stamp, but it's not really a stamp. It's the same thing that the bolster is. I'm not sure how long that'll last, but you see there the Rosecraft Blades uh, logo and it says Rosecraft Blades. And then on this side, there's a little, um, and I don't know if that's the designer of this knife or what. And this is in D2, which is one of my preferred steels for, you know, budget Chinese made knives. Um, typically, I like carbon steel. D2 is a tool steel, so it's like semi stainless. It's got more carbon than stainless steel, but it's not on the same level as like 1095 or something. So this won't stain just like doing basic things. Now, if I dipped this in some apple cider vinegar or something, like dipped the whole knife in, it might, you know might stain it um, but not from just cutting food it probably won't um, you can see there it is made in china um, i think you guys all knew that um, but it's got a sticker on the blade that says china um, oh that's interesting it's actually not on the uh, knife tang which is interesting but there is a sticker on the knife that says the made in china and i don't think rosecraft rosecraft blades is um, unaware of the fact that we're all that we all know that their knives are made in China, at least right now. Um, this knife is very well made, though. <laughs> this is right up there with the uh, Rough Rider Reserve series, except for I'll probably actually carry this more because I don't know. It feels like I know it's still Chinese made and everything, but it feels like it's got more soul in it for whatever reason. Um, and I do like the bone covers. And I think overall, it's just a really good looking knife. Now, I think a lot of people got the the loose Lusahatchee. Is that what it was called? The Lusahatchee? Something like that. Something incredibly southern sounding um, jackknife, which was like almost like a jig bone, but not quite like a traditional jig bone. And it was like a clip point boys knife. So like that was almost a Barlow, but this is like a full blown Barlow here. Uh, I do wish that they had done a spear blade instead of the sheep's foot or a uh, maybe even a clip blade. But I would have really liked to see a spear blade because that'd have been really cool. But I do like the sheep's foot, and I like the uh, little modified like curve in the blade is interesting to me. So that's cool. Um, neat knife. Super super excited about carrying this. Just say the action is really good. Um, yeah, nice knife. I don't remember what I paid for this. 
I bought it off of uh, traditionalpocketknives.com. I think it was like $60, 65 maybe. Something like that. Right around the same like price bracket as like the as like the uh Rough Rider Reserve series. Um but unfortunately I threw away the paperwork that told me how much this was, so I don't remember. Uh but it's not like super expensive. It's I think it's cheaper than most case knives. Um but pretty well made and I'm super happy to, that I bought one. Super happy with uh what it looks like and everything. I believe it's got a stop pin too. Yes, it does look like it's got a stop pin. So the kick is not stopping the blade the pin is. So you shouldn't get blade wrap, which is a problem with a lot of uh, traditional pocket knives sometimes. You end up with blade wrap because the blade hits the back spring. Whereas this, instead of relying on the kick of the blade, is using a pin to stop the blade. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but overall, very good looking knife. Very happy with it. Um, I'm hoping that Rosecraft Blades will continue to make more and more traditional patterns because I'm not super interested in their modern knives. I did buy that huge uh, button lock. I forget what it was called, but I did a video on it. Uh, I did buy that, and I haven't carried it yet, but it was an interesting knife. This, I'll probably carry it quite a bit more because it's more of like what I'm about, uh, you know, slip joint, traditional pocket knives. Um, and I really like the way it looks and I like, I like the design of it. I just like the knife. So super happy about this. Um, once again, made in China. So if you guys are super against, uh, Chinese made knives, uh, keep that in mind, but I think it's a really nice knife, certainly a decent knife for the price and everything. Um, and I think it looks really good and I'm happy that I ordered one. Um, but yeah, so that'll be the video on the Rosecraft Blades uh, Barlow. Does this have a name, or do they just call it the, the Beaver Creek Barlow? The Rosecraft Blades Beaver Creek Barlow is what they call this. Um, so, cool knife. Really happy with it. Um, really enjoy Barlow knives. You guys know that. Um, but that'll be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I hope you have a good day.